Hey guys, Media Rebel, Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. Christmas just around the corner. We'll get to that, but first, Northeast Killington. It's all rain up there, unfortunately, even at the higher elevations in the 40s up there at the base of Killington. This is that windy, warm storm system that rolled up the East Coast. And if we would have just had a little bit of cold air, this would have been a totally different story, but that's just not the case. All right, looking down the road, here are my bullet points. So California, you've got rain snow moving in today, tomorrow, and on the 20th. The problem here is the very high rain snow line, not at 10,000 feet. If you're above that, you're going to have significant snow. But that, that level precludes a lot of places from getting good snow out of this. Tetons, light snow coming in 1223. Wasatch, light to moderate snow, 1120, 1122, 1123. Now, the most interesting piece of this puzzle is what could happen in Colorado, New Mexico. We could have two pieces of energy, one out of the Pacific Northwest and one on a southern track. The two could merge over Colorado, New Mexico to bring moderate snow to a lot of places, maybe even some pockets of a heavier snow. So we'll look at that in the forecast in just a second. All right, I'm gonna take you back and show you water vapor. So this is a water vapor satellite imagery. Uh, oranges and reds are your drier air aloft. The whites and the blues are your moisture. So here is this uh, trough of low pressure moving in to, uh, to California with those very high snow levels. I mean, this, this Pacific jet is just blasting the West with warm air right now, abnormally warm. So this low kind of loses um, its energy. The one behind it, though, will dive in and take more of a southern track. That's piece number one. There's an area of low pressure back here that will come into the Pacific Northwest and hit right around there. That's piece number two. The two will merge over Colorado, New Mexico, potentially, to form a larger area of low pressure, 1223, 1224. That's a possibility. That's a best or worst case scenario, depending on how you want to look at that. All right, here is the uh, forecast radar and satellite. So that's the situation by this afternoon. You can see that precip hitting the west coast. 12, 19, 6 o'clock in the morning. Here's the afternoon. Again, very high snow levels in California. And then here comes that second area of low pressure into California. And this is the one that's going to dive to the south into Arizona and then eventually New Mexico. And it's waiting, and it's going to wait. Watch the Pacific Northwest. That's piece number two. That's 1222. So you've got one piece of energy to the south, another one coming in from the Pacific Northwest. Watch what happens. The two start to merge on 1223. Some snow for the Tetons, Idaho, Montana, the Wasatch, but more importantly, in Colorado and Utah, or Colorado and um, New Mexico. That's where we could see the bigger accumulations, Colorado and New Mexico. And that's really just the start of it on 1223. It would intensify through the night into 1224 potentially and then move out on 1225. All right, let me take you into the jet pattern here. So this is 1224. You can see the dip in the jet and there is a little bit of northern branch support. You can see it opens the door for some cold air to move into uh, Colorado and New Mexico. And that would help with snow production and, and lower the snow levels just a bit. So that leaves a trough there on 1224 for that low to spin up. Um, this is 1227. After that storm is gone, what's the pattern, right? So after Christmas into New Year's and into January, things look pretty active to me. Um, you can see it. Look at that powerful Pacific jet setting up, that streak coming off the Pacific. That's 1227. It's going to take a couple of days, a few days for that to set up, but you know, it's possible by the time we get to New Year's in January, we're looking at a much more active pattern for the West in general. Here's forecast radar for 1224. This is at noon on Sunday. Notice the snow in Colorado all the way down into Denver at that point and northern New Mexico. Um, this is 1225. This is Christmas morning. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. Storm is exiting at that point with light wraparound snow for Denver, um, the foothills, and the eastern plains with clearing skies in Wyoming and Utah. As far as snowfall, not much through the 22nd. Unless you're above nine or 10,000 in the Sierra, you could see significant snow if you're above those levels. Um, also some decent snow up there in uh, BC. You can see Whistler all the way over to Revelstoke in those magenta colored areas. We could see some nice pockets of snow there. Um, so this is 1223 into 1227. Again, most of this happens 1223, 1224. Some moderate to heavy snow accumulation in Colorado, northern New Mexico. Lighter accumulations for the Tetons and the Wasatch. And actually, Big Sky might be able to crank out several inches of snow out of this uh, with the right wind direction. So a little bit of uh, optimism there. But uh, that's the way things look through the 27th. 
in the northeast, I just don't have much of anything. It's too warm for one. And once this storm exits today, tomorrow, there just isn't anything for the northeast. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning uh, weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.